Possible contaminated Jif peanut butter products sold across the nation. And here in the Valley, Jeremy J. Ford spoke with a family who discovered a jar they were using could have salmonella. As a parent, as someone that um, sees these recalls often, I, I personally didn't take it very seriously. Lisa Matt recently checked her jar of Jif creamy peanut butter and found it to be in the recall range of possible salmonella contamination. My daughter's been having stomach aches and I thought, oh man, maybe that's the reason. Tuesday, after packing a peanut butter sandwich for her daughter, she says she referenced the recall dates and the label. And lo and behold, it was. It was affected. It was part of the recall. Which is why she booked an appointment with a pediatrician and notified friends. I said, hey, send me pictures of your peanut butter labels. Let me check. And sure enough, a girlfriend of mine that shops at a different Smith's, she had the sugar-free GIF and hers was also part of the recall. Now, her message, especially with more GIF products, on the list. Just be diligent. Check. Check your pantries and pay attention to the recalls. It's important and it's for your own benefit and for the benefit of your children. Jeremy J. Ford, live, local now. A News Now reached out to the Southern Nevada Health District who tells us that this time they have no reports of salmonella cases in our area.